Hello survivors, Obram Lady here and welcome back to Banished episode 5. Uh, in last episode we uh, encounter a disaster and we lost tens of our citizens, which was not a very fun thing to experience, but not much you can do about that. Uh, disasters do happen. Um, I haven't been playing for a couple of days. Uh, I've been reading up a little bit about tips and tricks on the game and uh, things of that nature. And one of the tricks or tips was to not build your town too close. Um, rather spread it out. So in case you get a disaster like I just got that tore up a swath or path here. Um, you should spread it out so when disaster strikes you, you, you don't lose your entire population. Which is actually very good advice. So in this episode what are we going to do? Well, we are working on building this mine over here. They're clearing out the area. There's a bit of a road there. I'm thinking of building maybe another house um, over here so that people are work by. Uh, working close by and this is uh, a stockpile that was another tip that the game uh, that was offered that don't have your uh, citizens walking too far uh, with the merchandise um, and also you know make sure that stuff doesn't overlap so like if you're looking at this market here um, this one covers quite a large area but that wasn't what they was referring to. They was referring to this stuff, the forester's lodge, and the, and the gatherer's hut. So if I build another gatherer's hut, I should build it so this they don't overlap in circles like here. But rather, you know, come here, for example. Uh, I will not do that because of the disaster in the last episode. I am down population. I have 21 adults, and even though that will help with the food, um, I'm still low on, on uh, workers in the different fields. The gatherers I do have a lot of because I do feel like I need a lot of food. Uh, the fishermen I have only one of and only two hunters but that's the food source. One woodcutter to make the firewood. Um, apparently coal, I don't know if coal goes as a fuel source or I mean if their citizens are using that as a fuel source. They're using firewood. I don't know how to get them to use coal instead. Um, doesn't matter. What else? Um, well, we have two laborers up here and two builders. And those are ba basically the backbone of, of any um, banished settlement, I think, because without them you can't really do much. You need the laborers to haul merchandise and, and uh, resources back and forth and the builders to build stuff. And as it is right now, they are, both of them are working on this mine. We only have one miner. Then, uh, let's see, the kids, how close are they to growing up? Um, there's Alonso, one year old, he will grow up, and then Haid was just born. Says uh, Amelistal also, child. So, basically it's about, at this point as well, it's not just about the workers, it's also about the resources. We have some wood, we have some stone, and we have loads of iron. This one brings in the coal. I guess um, I, I read some saying that the steel tools isn't really as worth it as such. Um, maybe it's better to just make them for trade purposes. And um, what should we build this time? Pasture suggested to wait until you actually have um, people for it or uh, actually have the that thing you know the thing Let's see could we build another house there Uh, the thing I was referring to is, of course, uh, pause that one. 
the animals for the pasture. Then you can build a pasture, but before then, no. This one is not being worked on at the moment. We pause that one so they can focus on this one. The mine here, still slow in getting resources there. It's okay. It's not too bad. I, I feel like we're, you know, for first let's play on this, that I'm doing anyway. Um, we're doing quite well, I think. We, we need a lot more people though, and I read some comments and, and some posts about people that has like 150, 500 citizens. So they got quite a lot of people going along. I don't. But then again, it's just year eight. And Blades Retreat is not too bad. One thing that uh, was suggested to build, or that I think that I would build, is a graveyard or cemetery. Suggestion is to make it big. So you don't have to uh, make new ones because the graves do deteriorate. But the forester here, as you can see, is planting a bunch of trees. So maybe not build it here. The reserve of stone is low. Three stones. Who is using stone? Oh, that one. It's kind of stupid to have the quarry over here. It's a long way to haul the stone to get over here. So let's fix that by cutting down these stones. There you go. That should be better suited. Not really planning out the city yet as such, where to put stuff and all that. But it looks like I do have space on this side. I wonder if I maybe should connect the road like this instead and delete this part. Um, or I should keep it. Uh, you cannot really build diagonally. So if I were to build a um, graveyard, I didn't know you could do that. So this part here. That won't be the entrance. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, here we go. Or should I just build it here? As to say, it can't be too big. Sixteen by nine. But this is prime real estate here by the... Not quite sure where to place it though. Is, I mean it's a prime real estate to have a few houses here and fishing thingies. But we can't have people mourn the death. Let's see, that is a hunting cabin, that is a herbalist. So, okay, that's never mind. We build it here. How much does it take in resources? Uh, one stone per unit of length. And we were low on stone. Well, actually, this here is producing a bunch of stone. Okay, let's build it. Twenty by ten. So I can make it twenty by twenty. That's too big. I'll make it like this. 15 by 10. There we go. 
I'll pause that one for now. There we go. Food is increasing. This one is being constructed. Hopefully it's done soon. Probably need to build a house here, as I said before. Um, like so. So then we need a second miner to work that one. Or yeah, we do. What speed are we playing at? Two times speed. Let's increase that to five times speed. So things get done in this episode, not just the planning stuff. Stockpiling a lot of stone here, which is nice. Stone, 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 coal, iron, log. Nice. This one has lots of log as well. I really need a lot of wood, so I don't want to destroy this. I guess this is about the edge of where I will live, uh, where I will construct housing and such. I will do some more housing in this area here, but then I may expand in this direction a little bit, because we have a logging camp over here, and store stuff over here. Cemetery will show up there. Mine is almost done. A lot of logs and stuff, which is nice. What is the next step? 46 stone. We have that. 40, 40. We can build both those houses though. We do have enough of the stone for that. Then I guess we wait until the cemetery is done. Should I build a tavern? Someone said that um, a tavern or a place like this um, brings in more people faster. I think this was the one. Doesn't take that much stone. Well, I don't know about that. Can I change the look on it? Oh, grass is turning greener. Yeah, no, we don't build that one now. There's a a uh, trade-off about uh, bringing in more, more people and starting trading and all that. Okay, one become a laborer's laborer. So now we have one doing, so you do coal and you do iron. Perfect. Um, the drawback is, or the trade-off is that if you get people coming in, like doing trade, I think I mentioned this in the first episode as well, um, you run the risk of, of attracting diseases and stuff, and if um, you do that, you can get like a, a disease that spreads throughout the community and, and basically killing everybody. And but then again, of course, the trade-off as well now is that you know I am low on citizens, so I, I need citizens to come in. So maybe a tavern would be a good idea. Uh, Brews alcohol. Can we make alcohol? Maybe we can make something out of berries. You know what? 
since this is a first playthrough, let's, let's just build one. You know, let's just pop down a tavern somewhere, like here. Right, we, we turn it around and place it like this. Right, we do this road first. Such, and we have a road here. There we go. And the tavern there. We build it there. There we go. We have decided to build that one. And I think it's a good thing to maybe have a... Um, where is that? Well, here, nearby as well. There we go. We can pause that one. Pause that one for now. Let them finish these houses, these houses here. Oh, that's a large lump of coal stack or something like that. And we see if we get a bunch of people coming in. We, we should have plenty of housing for people. I mean, a lot of people died. People are spread out. Maybe some of the new arrivals with, you know. Okay, Hasri Miner, where do you live? Oh, it's the house over there. Hasri is gathering fuel. Okay, good for you. And this one is that stone house. So it was this over here. Stone cutter. Herbalist laborer child. Okay, that works. So this is the one they're working on. Everything else is paused. Very nice. A child named Calandre. Alvatore is an adult and Calandre was born. That's nice. It would be nice to fill up this here though. You know, like maxing out everything. Especially the miners and the woodworkers. Uh, the foresters. Oh, halfway there. It's not too bad. Plenty of venison, plenty of fish, berries and stuff, yes, nice. How are we with resources? I think maybe we unlock the tavern next, just to see if we get, you know, more people coming in. Uh, actually, we can check the help screen here. Let's see, homes and housing. Taverns. The taverns can be placed in a town to increase the happiness of the citizens that live near them. The happiness bonus is only applied to taverns that have a stock of ale. A brewer works at a tavern is required to ferment wheat and fruits into ale. So, neither of the stuff that I have them. When the tavern is low on the materials needed to make ale, the brewer will travel to the nearest storage barn and ask them and bring them back to the building. They will then begin fermenting the resources into ale. After ale has been made, it will be stored in a tavern for idle citizens to enjoy. Clicking on a tavern building will show the current inventory detail. Uh, the current inventory and other details. The alcohol limit control sets the ale resource limits. Once the limits are reached, no more ale will be produced. You can change the type of ale produced by selecting a different item using a product button. The brewer can make ale from by fermenting one of the following. So. Let's see, we have berries, which is now food, but will return, um, okay, so a fruity ale then, berry ale, okay, nice, good to know, excellent work, people, so let's build the tavern, da -da -da -da. how are we citizen-wise, adults, child, child, child 
adults, adult. So we had seven childs. Okay, cool. Valerie, are you working in a coal mine? There we have Jaylene and Camera. Nice. We have Camera working as a gatherer. Naturist. Nature photograph. Whatever. <coughs> Tavern is getting resources. Uh, I do like this game very much. Um, it would be great if there is a modding community being built up. Um, Sir Lux is slow. Okay. Yeah, take it easy with what you build. The cemetery doesn't take any logs, but we build a tavern, the well, and then the cemetery. Actually, the tavern and the cemetery. The well can wait. Oh well. Um, there is a modding community being, you know, attached to this game, which is great, and there are changes coming in and, and stuff being added and all that, which is something I look very much forward to. I don't know if that sentence worked, but maybe. Um, what, what I think would be nice is that if time progressed and, and you made advances and you maybe came to the Steam H and and you could build railroads well not roads but just one railroad or whatever and um, something like that so it's going let's say what year is this no idea it's the uh, medieval times um, let's say you can advance four six hundred years medieval times is between what 800 and 1200 AD something like that so advance to the eight in hundred nineteenth century, is it? I don't know. Well, the steam age. So, yeah, six seven hundred years. That would be nice. And and the map is big. I mean, you can make it as big as you want, and uh, you can maybe do resource trading between, like in Sim City Four. You uh, can control the different regions, and you can like determine that in, in one city in the region you you know you, you produce workers or, or people live there and then they work in another one and then like the office workers and then you have a second or a third city area where you have the um, factory and then an industry where people are working in that aspect that part it would be nice too I think, well, we'll see. Logs are low, logs are low. Yes, we know the logs are low. So we're going to build a cemetery after the tavern is built to build up a stockpile of logs. But I guess she here, the tailor, right, you cannot make clothing. We have free stored clothes. We don't have enough leather. Right, we don't have leather. Tells me we need a like maybe in this forest area here we need to build another hunter. Can't really afford in terms of population to have a hunter at this time. Too bad though. It would be nice. Anyway, um, you know you, you you can give different building settings and and things like that, and so you can focus on industry I guess this would be called and then you can focus another one on, on, on animal production like having pastures and stuff so we put in a um, brewer yes we need one brewer ale out of apple no ale out of berries what is the limit on ale alcohol we have none. The alcohol limit is 500. I don't think we need that. Oops, that's... Two hundred alcohol. Yeah. 
and the cemetery. Go. Now that we have a place to get drunk, we need a place to sleep. Sort of. So we have 92 berries. We took the berries from here. Yes. Okay. Let's see, summer reserve logs is low. It's still summer. We can build it up, I think. Um, but I do like the game, um, you know, the way it is right now. I still haven't scratched the surface. Well, I have a little bit. It's itchy. But there is so many things that I haven't done yet. And uh, there, it's, it's kind of limited, limitless on the player ability because, you know, the map is randomly generated. The, you have the three different difficulty levels. And, you know, there's just so much to do that I haven't done yet. I haven't done trading yet. I mean, this is like the first invitation building I have sort of for new citizens. If it turns out that the tavern is one of those buildings, you, I don't know. Who is the brewer? Brewer? There we have. We have Layla. She is 26 years old, fair clothing, and she's using iron tool and she is very happy uh, not the greatest of health but Layla is the brewer is working oh nice what are you doing you are raking the road I decided oh someone dropped off a barrel oh, look at that Yay, 2019. Someone is drinking all the alcohol. I don't know if I would call this a tavern as such, more like a brewery. But, okay, cool. And the cemetery. They're still gathering more stone, adding more stone to it. Is there any stone? Well, this one just have loads and loads of iron. Wish there was more options for the iron. Uh, making tools and all that. Oh, I guess I can trade it. So, it, when, how much is a trading post? Which one is a trading post? This one. Um, 82 logs, 80 stone, and 40 iron. Yeah, we can. Oh. No, not a good spot. Did we screw ourselves over? Yeah, that one would work. Just by the bridge here. It's close to that one, but. Yeah, we're not gonna do that now. I'm gonna get a good. Gotta get a good, good, good. Gonna get the graveyard built. And uh, well, then I think we're done with this episode. Um, yeah, we're we're doing well. Food is getting low. It happens. And um, but so far so good, I think. Server stone is low. Still need. Eight more stone. We have like none. Is there any stone here we can cut down? We already did that, didn't we? Well, there is some over here. Yeah. There we go. Maybe we can build a trade post here and, you know, build some small community over here with another uh, market. It's for the future. Why well, we have more citizens? I don't know how long I've been recording today either. But, yeah. It's a great game. It's very relaxing. It's not like you're stressed out with stuff to do and, and not to do. 
which I like. You know, I, I like to have time. That's why when I play Civilization, I always play on Marathon. 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 So I can take my time and basically never finish. But it's cool. Come on, give me some stones. Come on, I need rocks. Cut them down, cut them down. Good, good, good. Get her, get her. You there are carrying three stones. Keep carrying stones. Four stones. Keep going, keep going. Five stones. You almost have all the stones we need by yourself. Six stones. Wow. And you're gonna drop off all those six stones. That's awesome. Drop them off. No, no. Are you really dropping them off over there? Oh, 39. Oh, so the builder has to go and pick them up. That's kind of silly. See, 12. Now, builder. What are you? You are a woodcutter. Builder. Come on. Grab it. Is, are you a builder? Now oh, you're a vendor. Jocelyn. Come on, grab the stone. You're legging up the place. There you go. A builder grab a stone. Two builders grab a stone. This is at the brewer. Why are you picking up stone resources? You're a brewer. You're supposed to be brewing. Not that I'm complaining too much, but you haven't reached the limit of 200 alcohol. You are a tailor. You also the dropping off. Okay. Sure. So I guess the place don't where you place the entrance. I guess that works. Now he's just going to build this place, and as we do, we stockpiling more stone and wood. Definitely have the stockpile of iron. No worth. No worries about running out. Fuels 200 again. Come on, finish it up. We need adults. We need more adults. Three and has it is together. Um, adults. Oh, Alonso will be adult soon. And Haiti. I think I read somewhere about. Uh, each increase is six years per season, uh, you know, per calendar year, if you can call it that. Like, you know, the seasons go, season go from winter to back to winter again. So for every year here, six years of the citizens passes. And now we have a second laborer. And that is Jaylene. See? That's nice. In a way I like it, in another way I don't, because I do like the fact that one year is actually one year when they grow. Because the way it is, you, you can have a turnover of population uh, early on, like you, the people you have when you start the game, like between year 10 and 15, they would, you know, age 60 years or so. You know, in, for every ten years that passes, you're 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 starting citizen of age sixty years. Yay, zero out of forty-two graves. Awesome. And well, that's the last thing we're gonna build. And um, then we're gonna slow down. Well, not really. We're gonna keep adding and expanding and stuff. I like the trees, they're growing up to be nice, well-adjusted adult trees. Okay, let's, the reserve of stone is low. Yes, I know this. I always know this. We need more stone cutters. We only have one. So, there we go. 
who are stone cutters? We have uh, Hassidy. I guess he just became a stone cutter. And then we have uh, Rian. Hassidy and Rian working in a mine. Chop, 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 chop. Big stone. And that's right. I can't rhyme. So this one is good in case of a fire. But I think it's something that needs to be tweaked a bit. I don't know. Possible. It could be true. So yeah, we're closing into the end of the episode and it's been a I don't know, somewhat eventful episode. A little bit. Maybe. Oh yeah, right. We're still low on stone. We need 17 more stone. Come on, people. We need a stone. Did you cut down? Yeah. Uh, here is some stone. And I'll go for this. Maybe I should place a quarry over here. Like here. Make this my industrious sector on this side. Or should I build it here, by the town, so it's close to this one? Well, this one works because the stockpile is here. It's it's the vendor that brings from the stockpile to the place, right? So once we have like we only have one vendor, we have room for fifteen. There, twelve vendors. Yes. Once we have more population. But yeah, I, I guess this area would work. Well, uh, for a stone cutter, uh, which industry is that one? A quarry, and we turn it like so, like here, right? And we just take this area here and expand that, or take this area. Actually, that one is a big enough size for um, stockpile. Game saved. Auto saving. Awesome. I don't know. Child named Darid was born. I wish you could rename people. Maybe you can when you get to City Hall. I wonder if I can rename the city, the town, from Blades Retreat to Blades Retreat. Or Tornado Twist. That would be a nice name. Doesn't mean anything at all. Got a plenty of stone. How is this coming along? We need eight more stone. Come on, people. I see you carrying stones there. Drop it off. There you go. You only dropped off four. Where is that? Four? Oh, you're coming along with stones, right? Alvator is placing inventory storage, which is 7 AL. And we have down to zero AL. Okay, we need my we are out of berries. Holy smokes. Yeah. Okay, the, the, the brewer cannot work properly. Too early to build that one, I think. So, I, I guess maybe next episode we give our... a try to make uh, maybe a uh, trade post. And see if we can trade in some animals or uh, apple seeds to make an orchard. Uh, I think that we can trade and sell this iron that we have. I don't know if we're going to make some extra tools. That's the woodcutter, he doesn't make tools. That's the blacksmith. I mean, we do have some coal. No. No, we won't. We keep it like this. We, we use iron tools and, and, yeah. But, yeah, getting some animals would be nice. I wonder if they are, like, non-aging, if they are just stored. Speaking of stored, how is this coming along? Not too big, not too full. Yep, yep, yep. We need more people everywhere, basically. But we're doing the best we can with what we have available, which is few people, but we're getting more every year. 
people are breeding, not like rabbits, which they were, but they're not. Oh, these trees are growing up as well. The, 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 the woodcutter here in there is not doing too much work. Definitely need to work a little bit extra. Well, we're going to stockpile the, the resources here. Um, maybe it's, you know, I should let it go by itself for a bit uh, before I do the next recording to stockpile resources or, you know, not do much or anything off screen. So, you know, in case of something happening, you know, you are here with me when it happens and you get to taste my tears of defeat and despair. If I have any. But yeah, I think that a quarry over here would be a good idea. And, um, you know, because we have this here, and then, you know, get rid of all of this iron and stone on the ground. I don't know who is cutting down trees over here and over there. I saw a tree fall over here. Who's doing that? It's not like you have borders to work out here, do you? Ta-da! The well is done. And in case there's a fire somewhere, or you know, if you want to dilute the, the alcohol with water, that would be great. Then we can have more. But yeah, I guess that we will end the episode here. Uh, no death so far, but I'm sure we're going to have some next episode. If we had this one up and running by the time the tornado hits, that would be graves galore there. So, um, yeah, I will end the episode here, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, I'm Obron Blade, this is Banished. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.